President Putin has overseen Russia's annual exercises involving strategic nuclear forces amid growing fears of an escalation of the war in Ukraine. The Kremlin said that ballistic and cruise missiles had been fired from land, the sea and in the air. Robin Brandt has the details. As the missiles went up, the message went out. This was only a simulation, a test. But Russia wants the world to remember that it has the biggest stockpile of nuclear weapons. Vladimir Putin watched and he was briefed as Russia's forces, as far from the northwest to the east of the country, rehearsed their reaction to a nuclear attack. Military chiefs told Russia's leader the task of delivering a massive nuclear strike by strategic offensive forces had been rehearsed. On land, in the air and at sea, this annual exercise is known as GROM, or thunder. Eight months into the war in Ukraine, it's designed to have added potency. But in Kyiv, the simulation was seen as just that. My personal opinion, he will not use nuclear weapon. They did a lot of stupid things, but they continue to be pragmatic. These images aren't just part of a war effort, they are part of a propaganda effort. The latest claim at the heart of which is the accusation Ukraine is about to use a dirty bomb, explosives with radiological material attached. Utterly untrue, though, says Ukraine's international backers. NATO allies rejects this transparently false allegation. Russia often accuses others for what they intend to do themselves. We have seen this pattern before, from Syria to Ukraine. Russia must not use false pretexts for further escalation. The big thing for them is actually trying to shut down Western support for Ukraine. And one of the ways they're doing that is, of course, by scaring us with nuclear rhetoric, with um, accusations about things that lead us towards the point where uh, Ukraine, in their eyes, is, is going to be the aggressor about nuclear warfare. The war in Ukraine is a bitter and bloody conventional one. Moscow's unsubstantiated claims of dirty bombs and implied threats of nuclear attacks are the latest weapons from a country and a leader dealing with an enemy that refuses to capitulate. Robin Brandt, BBC News.